Hi everyone, it's Del from Del's Cooking Twist. Um, I recently published uh, the Lausanne Bakery cookies on the blog and many of you asked for the recipe in a video to show you how to bake those delicious cookies. So I'm back just a few days later, ready to show you how to bake them. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, the Lausanne Bakery are those delicious thick cookies. They are baked in a tiny bakery shop in New York and oh my god, it smells so good. Uh, so they are really thick, as you can see, they are actually 6 ounces each, which is roughly 200 grams. So it's a lot. It's a very thick, huge cookie. And they are loaded with uh, large chocolate chips and walnuts, which makes it a little bit crispy. Uh, and if we open it, oh no, I keep it for the end. Wait until the end of the video. Uh, I just want to tell you that the top is a little bit crispy and when you open it, the inside is very gooey and rich. So that's what we're aiming for with this recipe. Okay, so let's get started. So we start with basic ingredients like for a regular cookie recipe. We can see some softened butter, uh, light brown sugar, sugar, two eggs, which is a little bit unusual. We usually have only one egg. Uh, flour and cake flour, I will explain a little bit later. And then we have some chocolate chips and some walnuts. Uh, and of course we have baking soda, baking powder and a little bit of salt. We start with the softened butter. We have roughly two cups here. And this one is very soft and which is perfect. Um, the weather is extremely hot here in Chicago. So that's why it was easy to soften the butter. And then we add both sugars. So the light brown sugar and the regular sugar. Now we take the mixer and we're gonna beat both sugars with the butter until we get a creamy texture. So we beat on low medium speed because we don't want to have it all over the place. And we beat for about one minute. Okay, so now everything is a bit creamy, so we're gonna add both eggs at once and we mix again just until incorporated, so we don't need to go too long, just 30 seconds maybe. Now we are done with the wet ingredients, I'm back with the dry ingredients. So in this recipe, we are going to use uh, all-purpose flour and cake flour. And the mix of the two of them is what makes the texture uh, so special for the Levin Bakery cookies. Um, so we have here the regular all-purpose flour that we all know. And now we're going to make some uh, cake flour. So you could buy some uh, in some stores, but not you don't find it everywhere. So that's why I usually prefer uh, making my own uh, cake flour because it's actually very simple. So let me show you. So we have here about one cup of flour, all-purpose flour, very simple. We're gonna remove two tablespoons, roughly like that. And instead, we are gonna add two tablespoons of corn flour. One here. I must use too much corn flour, it's almost empty here. And two, it's a little bit more. Okay, then you just mix very quickly both the corn flour and the all-purpose flour. And once it's ready, you're gonna sift the flour in a bowl. So you take this and you simply sift the flour in one recipient. And we are gonna do it not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but five or six times. Seems a lot, but it was the uh, work. Okay, so we have one time here. Please count for me because I'm gonna be lost. Okay, so I have 
my cake flour ready and if you compare the all purpose and the cake flour you can see that the cake flour is much thinner this one is a little bit more or is more, more texture in it this one is very very soft and uh, smooth so then you just combine um, both flour in the third uh, mixing bowl and you're gonna add the remaining dry ingredients which means one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt and you just stir all the dry ingredients together nothing difficult here final step almost now so we just uh, pour the flour mixture in two or three times into the wet ingredients and you're gonna mix on low speed because you don't want uh, to have the flour uh, going everywhere on the table so this is ready now and of course there's something missing right I think we need some chocolate chips and some walnuts. I will simply fold in the chocolate chips like that. Whew, that's a lot of chocolate chips. So the idea is of course to spread the chocolate chip as much as possible. Try to take some big, large big chocolate chips instead of uh, uh, mini chocolate chips because it will go very well in the cookie. Uh, and of course you could replace with chocolate chips if you want. Now that the chocolate chips are folded into the dough, uh, we're gonna add uh, one that's half. So you can see that they are not um, cut into tiny pieces, they're just roughly chopped. And that's what we want here as well. So we just fold in the walnuts into the dough, which has a very nice texture. Everything is really smooth. We just add the crunchiness of walnuts uh, chocolate chips. This is gonna be awesome. I'm telling you. So now the dough is ready and we're gonna shape the cookies. So as I was saying in the beginning, these cookies are extremely thick and heavy and they're usually six ounces each in the bakery in New York. You just roughly take with a spoon and measure uh, six ounces. It's gonna be a lot. So this is five, and this is a bit too much. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we have six ounces here, which is a lot. And then we roughly shape the cookies into our ends instead of using a um, an ice cream scoop. We don't need it here. We want this rustic shape. So you just flatten it, flatten it just a little bit and place it on the baking sheet so I can show you how it looks like. So this is really uh, rustic. Now the cookies are ready to go to the oven. We're gonna bake them at 400 Fahrenheit for about 11 minutes. So the cookies are ready when the bottom is slightly golden and the top as well. When it's ready, just remove the baking sheet from the oven and let cool the cookies onto the baking sheet. You don't need to transfer them onto a cooling rack. Okay, I just pulled out the cookies from the oven. I'm so excited about it. So as you can see, they're really golden and slightly crispy. So now we're gonna do exactly as we do uh, in Le Vin Bakery in New York. So you take it and you break it into two equal parts. And you can see, oh my God, this beautiful inside with chocolate chips and gooey center. So if you excuse me, I'm gonna try them because it's too hard to resist. Oh my God. Mmm. <laughs> this is really good. You need to try this recipe. So as you saw, the recipe is extremely simple. There is nothing fancy and the good news is that you can also freeze them. So sometimes I do it, I bake a whole batch, just freeze them when they're 
once they're cold. And whenever you have a cookie craving, just remove them from the freezer and then enjoy. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy the whole cookie. So you can find the full recipe on the blog at dailycookingtrees.com. And see you later, guys.